and welcome along and welcome to this mod spotlight on the Massey Ferguson 5400 pack by AMG Modding. Uh, huge thank you to AMG Modding for sending this over to me and giving me early access. Uh, it is a fantastic pack. Uh, when I first got this, uh, I actually thought it was only going to be a single tractor, but there are six tractors in this uh, along with uh, two nice uh, weights. One is a Massey Ferguson one, which is that one there. And the other is an Agco uh, version. Um, really, really nice. So much detail on these tractors. And I'm going to go through all of these in a minute. Now, I'm not going to go through every single setting uh, that exists in the shop. Uh, because... These are just so wonderfully fully featured that there is just a mass of options on every single tractor. Look at the detail of the modelling on these. These are just gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. Um, and if we jump in the cab of one of these as well, you can see they're really nicely modelled, really well detailed. Just a cracking looking mod. Really, really like these. Um, they go from, uh, yeah, these the, the smaller drop nosed here right up to the larger ones, uh, which is this one over here, uh, where we got the 50, uh, 5475. So uh, let's hop into the shop quickly and have a look at these. And I can go through exactly what each of these tr six tractors has. So, as I said, there are six tractors included in this mod pack uh you've got the 5400 steep bonnet gen 1 uh the 5400 steep bonnet gen 2 uh the 5400 small frame gen 1 5400 small gen frame 2 and the 5400 large frame gen 1 and 5400 large frame gen 2 uh you also have the two weight packs as i said so you've got uh the massey ferguson 1500 and the adco 1620 uh now looking at these your cheapest one for the uh steep bonnet gen one is 50,000. uh they go up to 83,000 for the large frame gen 2. so as a range of tractors these are not that expensive. It's a, it's a good starting tractor pack, this actually. Really, really great on a start from scratch. A, a nice little tractor for 50,000 will get you started on, on a start from scratch really well. So let's pop in here and have a look at the uh, Steep Bonnet Gen 1. To give you an idea of how many different options there are here. So this is the basic tractor uh, configuration. Uh, you've got various wheel brands, various uh, wheel setups, including some nice narrow setups on here as well. And some uh, wide tire and twin setups. So yeah, just a massive amount of options. Uh, every single tractor in this pack has two roof options. You've got the standard roof and the Vizio roof. Um, you've got uh, beacons. You've got both and right and left. Every tractor has that as well. Full set of working lights on every tractor. Uh, you've got the halogen, the halogen with the roof, and then the front lights and then the rear lights on the back there. And then you've got LED versions of all of those as well. So uh, they appear on the roof, uh, they appear on the front and the back too. Uh, every tractor has those. Uh, you've got the narrow fenders and the wide fenders on every tractor. Uh, mud guards as well. And you've got the extra rear mud guards there that comes on each of these. Uh, you've got various front uh, attachments. So you've got a full set of weights that you can put on the front uh, of both the Massey Ferguson and the Agco. And then you also have a three point, uh, a three point with a weight at the front there and a three point with the PTO on each of them too. Uh, front loader attacher is available on every, on every tractor. You've got the Quickie uh, and the Hoa. And then uh, on this particular tractor and what we'll do for each of these, we'll go through the engine setups 
on the uh, steep bonnet gen 1 uh, you've got the 5425 with 86 horsepower the 5435 with 96 horsepower the 5445 with 110 horsepower and the 5455 with 125 horsepower so, uh, yeah, nice little range on there. And, and going up to 125 horsepower, again, 76,000 for a 125 horsepower tractor. Great little starting tractor for a start from scratch. Really, really like that. It's just absolutely brilliant. If we have a look at the uh, Steep Bonnet Gen 2 now, so same set of uh configurations i should point out and i didn't cover this in the the steep bonnet gen 1 there are lots of configuration packages so we went through the basic tractor on the steep bonnet gen 1 all of the tractors in this pack also have uh used tractor configurations which are really cool so these are pre-configured setups that give you a minimum number of additional configurations. Uh, basically just give you the, the tire configurations. Uh, you've got the used tractor one with the uh, Visio roof. Uh, you've got the used tractor two and a used tractor three. So you've got sort of a basic all round configuration uh, in these three used tractor setups. And each tractor has one, uh, has these three setups so you can go in and you can go right i'll have this pre-configured pre -configured setup and i think there's a saving on this compared to if you actually went through and did the individual configuration because of that uh which is is really quite cool um then you've got the black beauty uh, again with the same set of configurations as you had before only difference here is you have less choice in the chassis color uh, you then have uh, the Silver Special. Similarly, uh, it's the chassis color where your option is reduced here. Let's zoom back out of that. Uh, 50 year edition, uh, municipal, and premium. Now, premium seems to have some extra uh, selections compared to the basic. There are, yeah, there's definitely some. Oh, no. There's definitely some extra configurations you get on things like... Well, actually, where is it? Looks like you get the 50th edition on the premium. So, yeah. Looks like looks like you get a couple of extra options on here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I like the amount of configurability on these. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, engine sizes on the uh, Steep Bonnet Gen 2. Uh, you have got the uh, 5425 at 86 horsepower, 5435 at 96, uh, the 5445 at 110, and the 5455 at 125 horsepower. So same set of engine configurations as the uh, Gen 1, um, but uh, just slightly more expensive because it's the Gen 2 version of this tractor. The 5400 small frame Gen 1 is up next at 52,000. Uh, this, again, same set of configurations. You've got three used tractor setups, uh, which uh, are great for getting you started. Again, I think they are slightly cheaper than if you configure those bits separately. Uh, you've got the Black Beauty, the Silver Special, the 50-year edition, the Municipal, and the Premium. Uh, this, uh, again, starts with the 5425 at 86 horsepower. Uh, you've got the 5435 at 96, the 5445 at 110, the 5455 at 125, and the 5460 at 135 horsepower. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit extra horsepower. You can, uh, it's an extra 31,000. So, 83,000 for this at that full whack. Um, premium has, uh, as as before, all the same configurations as we've gone over previously. Uh, tire brands are Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, uh, BKT, uh, Verdestein, uh, Nokian, 
on here. So uh, yeah, all these tractors have a massive amount of various tyre uh, configurations you can do as well, which is uh, really nice and, and so much choice that exists on these tractors. Fourth tractor in this pack is the 5400 Small Frame Gen 2 for 54,000. Uh, like its Gen 1 counterparts, this comes in uh, the 5425 uh, engine setup with 86 horsepower, the 5435 with 96, the 5445 with 110, the 5455 with 125 and the 5460 with 135 horsepower oh and in fact has an additional one in the 5470 with 145 horsepower i think we also have the 5480 with 155 horsepower as well so uh yeah extra horsepower in uh, the uh, small frame gen 2 version of this tractor uh so a little bit more option now you can see here what i was talking about earlier uh, the basic configuration only has the single chassis color uh option whereas the premium tractor has everything uh configurable i like to change the side mesh on these actually to uh to be the black i think that looks really really nice on these tractors with that that sort of black side mesh cut out um all in all though uh cracking looking and uh again for for 98,000 155 horsepower little massey great little tractor we then get on to the bigger two tractors that are in this pack the uh 5400 large frame gen 1 and gen 2 uh the large frame gen 1 uh is 80,000 as its base price. Uh, again, got all of the options that you have on the other tractors, including uh, three used tractor configurations. We've only got two engine configs on this 54, 65 at 150 horsepower, and the 54, 70 at 155 horsepower. Uh, 84,100 for this with the 155 horsepower. Again, really good price for a starting tractor uh, going with the large frame on here. Um, love that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm really thinking that we're going to I'm going to put this pack onto no man's land. And if one of these comes up uh, and is available to us, I think having one of these on the farm would be really really great for us our final tractor in this pack then is the 5400 large frame gen 2 for 83,000. uh again we've got a 150 horsepower as for the 5465 uh the 5475 at 160 horsepower like it's uh older uh cousin in the large frame gen one it only has those two engine options same set of customizations as the others uh we've got the front loader attach uh front weights and uh and 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 front three points if you want it uh we've got the mud guards the narrow fenders the light options beacons uh roof options uh, just yeah just a whole pile of options on this tractor really really configurable really really useful and only eighty seven thousand five hundred for no in fact ninety five thousand seven hundred for the um uh actually no i've got the pto on this let's take that off ninety one thousand two hundred uh, for the larger engine before you start configuring it. I think you probably throw this over 100,000 if you wanted. Let's see if we can do that quickly. Uh, so we'll put all the mud guards on. We'll put the wide fenders on. We'll put the full whack of lights on. Full beacons. Visio roof with mirror. Make it the 50th edition. Uh, what is our most expensive tires on this? 8,000, there we go. Full twin wheels. And uh, yeah, 109,000 
uh, 800 for uh, for whacking the whole thing up. Um, but uh, still, that's really good for a 160 horsepower tractor. Um, I uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. That's that's really awesome. Uh, last thing we got in this pack is these two weights. So we've got the Massey Ferguson 1500. Uh, configuration on this is uh, how many weights you have on it. So these go up to 540 kilograms. Uh, decals you can go yes or no. They're very in their basic configuration. Very difficult to see the decals, so I tend to set them to white, and then you can see, uh, yeah, on or off. Took me a while to find those initially while I was looking over this pack. Um, so yeah, quite like those. Those are really configurable and really nice. Uh, and then you've got the Agco ones as well. So these go up to uh, 660 kilograms. Uh, they can have the decals on and off as well. And uh, like the rest, uh, this is really configurable. You can get this. You can get a really horrible color setup with this if you want. So uh, let's go there. Yeah, that's not very nice on the front of a Massey. Um, but uh, yeah, so they are really configurable. Really nice. Uh, I love those as well. So there we go. That is an overview of this entire pack. I really, really like these. Uh, let's just jump in here and uh, have a listen to the engine on this. See if we get a bit closer. They are... Engine sounds are really, really nice on here as well. But it's a, it's a little bit low, I think, in my recording. Um... I think they're gorgeous. They are absolutely wonderful. And uh, they are currently working their way through the test list uh, on the Mod Hub. So hopefully will be released in the near future. So much variation. So much choice in these. And just a really, really useful all-round pack. I think these are, these are going to be great on any farm that you want to use them on. Um, there's, uh, going from, uh, that, that 86 horsepower up to the 160, uh, just makes them a really, really useful tractor on any small to medium farm. And, uh, yeah, I recommend checking out this mod pack, uh, once it has been released, uh, go check it out. Just, yeah, go grab it. I think, uh, I don't think you'll regret having these tractors on your farm. We're going to leave this here for now, though. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.